Hey folks, and welcome to the Pit Knowledge Symposium for the 20th of October 2022. Um, so we have a house full of guests. We have my mother visiting all the way from Montana in America. And we have a bunch of friends visiting from, rather my, my eldest son's friends visiting from Copenhagen. So that's pretty cool. Everyone's ready for um, uh, Michonne on Saturday. So that'll be really exciting. So I didn't get a video out yesterday because I was pendling back and forth to the to the airport, but today we've got time, which is great. So I'm gonna run through the pairs. I'm gonna start from the back now. We're gonna start with the dollar index and move the other direction because we didn't manage to get those in <clears throat> uh, two days ago. So I just wanna make sure we kinda, kinda cover all the bases here. So starting on the American uh, dollar index, um, you can see that we are, we've established the buy side of the market, which is very, very beautiful and very clear. Um, sorry, wrong tool here. We have this which is brought to our attention, which I really like. And I like this because when price left this area of demand, we managed to move above this high. We also had this little price structure in here. It was tested several times. Okay, and this is the area of uh, demand that removed it. So I like this. And so we're gonna, we're gonna put this one on. What is that? Yeah, so that's what, that's what we have. So I'm gonna <clears throat> keep an eye on this. I'll put that on later. Um, we have this one up here, we've just tested it. Now we are slowly wriggling low. We had a nice uh, retracement. We moved into this area of demand, which we raced north from. And so we went just to the bottom of that area. And now we're we moving to the opposing side of the mic. So I'm thinking we're probably gonna uh, drift down back to here and rebalance and potentially move into, into this here. So this is what I'd like to do to buy down here. So we'll just put that on. Um, what does that say? I'll do that later. I can't read what that says. It's kind of, kind of small. So that's what we have for the American dollar index. This is a 106.67-ish area. I think that'd be a beautiful place to begin to buy. And this is the buy zone here. Uh, a beautiful release. No prices have visited uh, that area since the release. So that's the way we'll will go and we have this this is the this is the s p 500 um so we just kind of do the work so we had we had this area here which was tested once twice three times and now it's gone and the area that removed here is you got to look for that i mean price went down here you see price came back to here we have pin bars here, so we have a micro uh, supply in here, like a double high here. So this is telling us there's something important going on just here. This is a slingshot. We'll put that in there, and then we'll go down to the daily and see what that looked like. Just here. Okay, so this is what we had there. We had a departure, slingshot established two times, went a little bit deeper, and this is where price turned. Okay, so that's what we have there, and price seemed to respect that quite nicely, and then we moved this is when we managed to move away from this. And currently we have, we've got something in here. Okay, we have this, which has been tested. Actually, let me do it with a different, with a, oops. Let me remove these and just do it with the other tool and I can draw. So we had, we had this here, which was tested, tested, now removed by by this is the origin of the move that went through it. It's kind of here. This is where the slingshot was pulled back. Went through it, tested it. Now it's gone, the area that did that. It's here. So we have this here. So I'm thinking this is probably where we're going to see a reaction when price revisits. So let's mark that off. This is at the 3920-ish area. That would be an interesting place to go because when price left here we also move below this low here the sell zone is established so you could argue this has been tested but uh, an aggressive uh, management of, of a short from around this area here might be a, a pretty good idea note that we are turning around so we had we had the bear cycle is complete we started from here okay and now we're probably going to do something like that and so that might lead to a, tra a tracement back up to this area here. Also focusing on, focusing on this area here, we have 
to note where these are. This is a 50% retracement of that move. So this is uh, an attractive price for that reason. So I'm going to put that on, uh, not this minute. I just want to try and get through as many pairs as possible. But uh, this is certainly a level we want to keep our eyes on. And we have the US uh, 50, which is essentially the same thing, a little bit higher. <coughs> um, let's go to the weekly here. So we have. So we had something here. Okay, we tested it, we went up, price cut through, the origin of the move is up here somewhere. So if we just mark that high off and then go to the daily, you can see where it is, and there it is, right there. So this is the one that we're interested in. The sell zone is already established right there. So this would be the place where I'd be looking to, to short uh, from here. There's nothing to do here. It's kind of like just, this is like, a pretty, a pretty nice agreement in price. Price is happily trading higher and lower. There's no, no real imbalance in there. But we have the imbalance and it's starting here at the, the 32.891 area. So this is likely where price will go. Um, yeah, so we'll keep our eyes on that as well. I'm gonna put an alert here. And I'm gonna put an alert here. And I'll come back to those shortly. And then we have the DAX. <coughs> the DAX is going weekly. That's ugly, not a lot of data. That is really weird, isn't it? Don't you hate it when people do that to your data? No, nothing to do. So that's what we have there. Let's look at the daily, maybe we can fill out the gaps. Okay, there. And so, <clears throat> so looking at this one, um, we had this slingshot test and I removed the area that removed it is here tested 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 removed the area that removed it is it's kind of it's actually here tested okay I price Saturn and removed it so the area that removed it is maybe this candle here I think you could just go to the top here because this is where you have the spot here the cell zone is right at the top of this oops wrong tool we got this one here and the cell zone is right here Let's see what that looks like on the four hour boom now we can probably see it a little clearer here so this is where it is and this is the supply right there so we're probably going to get a reaction there um, the price is likely going to wriggle higher. Okay, let's look. So we have this here. Let me use this tool here. It's easier. Got this one here. Tested, tested, tested. Removed. Where did price go to to remove it? We actually went to this. This and the price came, it kind of came from here. So we'll just mark off this area here. Okay, um, price came to it and now we're slowly wriggling sideways. Let me remove this. Okay, and then we, we need this to be gone, which is not. So we had the sales on established, price went deeper, went to the upper edge of this area of supply. So we could come up to here and just mark that off with, with this. We could come up to here. Cell zone is just at the top of the box. Okay, so we could have a, a little reaction here at the 1.300, kind of the big figure. Um, so keep your eyes on that. Um, because if you look at this again, we have, I mean, this is price just happily kind of moving relatively efficiently between here and here. So just keep your eyes on that. I think we could uh, look for some uh, small reactions here and slightly bigger here and essentially at the top here we have just a nice a nice pattern just up here like this just here if we go to the daily chart <coughs> yeah, that's pretty interesting there and then of course we have this one here which is a whopper okay so keep your eyes on those note as well here if we look at this 
See, we've already been back to the 50, the 60, the, netro the next one is here at the, the 70, okay, which lines up pretty nicely with, with this area here that we just, uh, just took a look at. Move along. So that could be an interesting uh, trade just here, so keep your eyes on that. The Aussie index. So we mark this off. This is this is a four-hour chart. Yeah, we kind of came up to this uh, uh, yesterday, <clears throat> and we're kind of just touching the edge of the the sell zone, which is here. Sell zone, sell zone. We went almost up to it perfectly, and um, we also have this, which is an area of demand, which has been tested once before. So that might give us a bit of a reaction from around this price point here. Uh, beyond that, we've got we've got this here, which I which I like quite a lot. So we can keep our eyes on that for the time being. Let's go to the daily just to get the, the bigger perspective. And you can see this is much clearer like that from here. And there you can see departure, test, and then release. Okay, and you can see that we had a, a bounce at this area here. Um, price came down to it, fell, the slingshot was pulled back, and then we left. So this is obviously a pretty interesting place um, uh, to sell. Um, and now we're kind of moving up towards that area. But we do also have some areas up here as well. But for the time being, <clears throat> uh, I reckon um, selling as price rallies. And then we've got a ripple. What's ripple doing? Uh, oh, well, it's a... Uh, we had this, I'm going to use this tool. So we had this here. Tested, 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 tested. Remove from here. So when prices come up to here, uh, I think we could we could see a, a push down. Ripple, is this ripple? This looks really crazy. 30, 323 bucks, I don't think it's ever gotten to that price. Anyway. Um, if we look at this, maybe go to the smaller time frame, um, we can see that the breakaway occurred. Looks strange, isn't it? Let me this off. Ah, yes. So this is this is where the breakaway occurred from. It's not very clear. Oh man, this is an ugly chart. I don't want to spend a second on it. It gives me a headache. Let's go to Ethereum. Ethereum. What's going on in Ethereum? So Ethereum we have... Okay, let's go, let's go to the weekly. Yes, yeah, so the weekly we had... Looking here. We had some tests here. Testing, testing, failed. Uh, the origin of the move is something in here. It's, it's something in here. I can't see what it is. Let's just go. And this is the candle that went through. We'll just mark off this candle here. You can see on the smaller time frame. We established weekly supply. Price tested it. We moved away. So we're going to the daily chart. Yeah, this looks this looks better. Right there. So this could be an interesting place for a, um, a push lower. Um, we also have this. I'm just going to mark these off so we can keep an eye on them. When price left here, we had all of these tests. There's something in here. Tested, tested, and this is the one that removed it. So I think, should price rally back up to here, then we might see a little reaction beginning of the sell zone starts here. And so price is trading pretty nice and easily here. Um, and so you want to be selling above this price. And below price, we have this. is nice <clears throat> right here like that so that could be an interesting place it'll give us a, a bit of support uh, price has not been back there since uh, price departed and we were gapping higher as well we removed this area of supply just here that was tested once twice three times four times and then we gap through it slingshot pull back 
And so, yeah, now we're moving sideways. This is telling us that we're preparing to do something, but we don't know what there's a, there's a very, uh, a very clear balance in supply and demand. And so a potential stab lower and then a, um, a rebalance of some of these, some of these levels here. I like this one a lot. Um, I like, okay. So yeah, sorry, what interrupted there. So yeah, I mean, it pokes down into this area here. I see some shorter reactions bitcoin what's bitcoin doing that's the big question oh look at that it's looking it's it's something's brewing huh something's brewing but we do have super clear let's go here let's go from here to here we have we have really clear supply right there so we might see some rallies up to 27 and a push lower Sell zone. Um, I don't know. We're sitting pretty firmly on this weekly demand uh, that the software identified for us, and so we could we could sit on this. We don't know. We do have this price inefficiency. Let's have a look at that. So this is where we are. We have. I mean, I really like this. Wait, this one here. I really like this one here. This is at the eleven thousand six hundred and twenty-eight. I mean, this is just a super super area so what you could do is you could put some pending limits uh, at this area here um, and like an overnight or a, or a volatile uh, market or a broker glitch um, causing price to stab down into this area here that would be a really nice buy uh, likewise uh, this would be a very nice buy as well so there are a couple of really interesting price points below price um, this is the immediate one that I really like, so I'd be super interested uh, down here. But there are areas of demand that go on and on below price, so there's, uh, there's, lots, there's lots of opportunity uh, below. But for the time being, price is not really, it's kind of just moving sideways, so there's nothing to do. And so it might be an interesting idea to pay attention to, um, uh, to the order book on some of the bigger exchanges and see where the imbalance, uh, where the imbalance will, will shift. Um, but for the time being, I mean, I'm looking to buy lower, not that much lower, about, about 7,000 bucks lower, uh, and that's not unrealistic. So keep your eyes on that. Uh, we've got natural gas, We're still waiting to get some fills on there. I think we should see those. This is a lovely area. This is a lovely area. So just waiting for those to fill. Then we have, we have uh, crude oil. Have we poked into this one? I think this is what we've got open. Yeah, here it is. We're kind of floating there about a thousand bucks, kind of waiting for that to happen. So, <clears throat> I mean, this could go anywhere, um, but I would like to, I would like to see it go. I'm thinking it's probably going to go. Yeah, I mean, I like this, but this is also an obstacle. Just, the, just, just looking at it. So this might be a more realistic profit target. Uh, what we could do is we could say, well, we've moved up healthily into into profit, so you don't want to we don't want to lose any more than we don't want to take a whole hit. So maybe 400 bucks or something. We'll leave that. That gives us protection because we have this micro area just just here. Okay, so let that update. Boom. Okay, so I think that that could go. We also have this one here, so price could likely pull back and then continue its. It's charged north, but um, and this is like just a really interesting uh, spot just here. This is interesting as well, but price has already been back to this, so I'm thinking the price could easily continue to move uh, higher from here. But we'll leave it like that for the time being and adjust uh, later. We've got gold versus the American dollar. I don't know if we got fill on this one. We did, didn't we? Unless we got, oops, gold. Yeah, we got into this one here, so we're just floating out about 130 odd bucks or something. So a little, a little push high would be marvelous. Also, this is at the edge of this weekly demand. So we can manage to wriggle up a little bit. Let's go to the hourly. See if we can find some. Yeah, there's no price could easily move through this, so you don't want this. Shouldn't frighten you. <clears throat> okay, price could easily wriggle up. And move through this. You want to look above this, and so the target's there. But we could easily. I mean, this is where we have the like the first kind of inbounds. It's already been tested once, so 
wriggles north from here might be interesting, but we don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It's still, still working. Then we've got gold versus the euro. We have this one here, which was tested, and now price is eating through it. So time to, ah, okay, if you look at that, no wonder. I mean, price has already been here, here, and here. So that's why we didn't put the trade in, I'm guessing. But we've got this one here, which is below. This is better, and this is also the origin of the move that moved price above here. So we go like this, right there. This one's more or less gone. <clears throat> so this could be an interesting place. As a matter of fact, we can put that on. Um, three, four. Stop loss is at 16.13.14. Target there, and this is for our demand. We're buying at 1643. 1643.5. So we'll leave that there. Where's it going to go? No idea. Four hour chart, maybe. Yeah, I mean, we could move it up to. What we're going to do, we're going to go like this. We're going to go this. We're going to put this on to the entry. 50% is there. We want to look at that on the four hour and see what it looks like. Yeah, I don't know. We'll leave it like that. Okay. And then we'll come back to that. But that's kind of what we're looking at for that right now. Yeah, you can see here price has already been to this area here. So it's already been tested slightly high risk because of the reaction, but we did have a big reaction. Price didn't even feed into that. So we could just go like a pip below. Yeah, so we'll leave that. Okay, now gold versus your Australian dollar. Got this lovely area above price. Got this nice area below. But nothing to do, still waiting for price to come to our short entry. Just here, so waiting. Um, we have silver versus the American dollar. Any bigger time frames? Ooh, I like that one just here. This is super yummy. Okay, and where are we? From here to here, this is a deep one. See, this puts us at about 50, 60, 70, 80 percent. That's a that's a that's a give back, a huge give back. So that's a discount price uh, for this, and so. Do that just gives like a healthy stop we'll lob that on so i'm just i'm putting on tons of trades everybody just so you can see what they do and what they don't do just so we can kind of see how price reacts at them because we need this has to become essentially muscle memory yeah and so we want to we want to engage in the market as much as possible at places where it makes sense and doing that uh, will over time give us confidence because um, we can see that, yeah, that would have worked or that wouldn't have worked. And the, and the ones that didn't work and the ones that did work, I mean, you run over those after the fact and then you can do a bit of a um, kind of post-mortem to find out exactly what it was uh, that worked and why it worked. Um, and I think it's just a really interesting way to, to go about it. So here we have one to one, maybe one to two and we'll come back to that. But that's a pretty interesting place there. 23 minutes. I'm going to move to a couple more. We have here we have silver versus the euro. I really like this, but we didn't come back yet. We just went down. Just a really nice kind of flip zone support kind of resistance. We haven't visited that yet, so I'd like price to come up there at some stage. If it does, that'd be great. If it doesn't, yeah, then we do something else. But for the time being, oh, there's demand here. Oh yeah, this, we have this right there. Let's go to the daily and have a look. Right there. Okay, so this is a really nice departure. It's gonna give ourselves a nice wide. And I like how price kind of casually kind of wriggled enough. I mean, there's, 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 uh, there's a balance in supply and demand. We move higher, we accumulate, and then boom. So this is fresh demand that was introduced after this. Okay, and this drove price above these highs. So this is a, a very high probability trade. So I'm going to well, put that one in as well. Um, two, three, stop loss, 16. 
17 target we don't know yet Got my youngest son upstairs he's a nine years old and his his elder brother Maris who's 15 he um, he's got his two buddies from from a he went to school with in, in uh, Flags Bear, and, like in Copenhagen, and they're both here visiting their rival last night. And my little boy's just like playing up to these big boy things. It's quite exciting. It's very sweet to see. Um, okay, so this is 17.08. We'll plop that in there. We'll leave that in there. Okay, so that's what we have there. Moving on, we've got silver versus the Australian dollar. Still waiting for price to come here. I really like that. Buy zone established. Isn't it so easy? If you do it this way, you just like, look at it and you can see, I mean, they leap out of you. Super, boom, buy zone, demand. Super easy, you almost don't have to think about it. Um, okay, here we have the American dollar versus the Singapore dollar. Ooh, I don't like that. Um, let me see what's above. Um, yeah, let me see here. Yeah. All right, so we've got this here. No, I'm not fond of that. Remove that. Um, I can look on the weekly chart. Bit of fine, and you got it here. Software found it. Oh, thank you, software. And you go and have a look on the daily and see what it looks like. Yes, yeah, so it has. It has this right there. Okay, so now price goes up. We come down. We we define this area, price goes up, we buy zone, we have another go, and then this is where we leave from. So this is the demand, and these two are reactions to it. So the buy zone is established below the two lows, just here. Okay. But even more, I like this. I really like this. Right there, that's just a super, super clear push. I really like that. This is, you know, this is kind of, that's a long way from price, obviously. And obviously these work. I mean, look at this one. I mean, this one here tested, and we missed the boat. You know, buy zone, established, price poked into that, and now we're racing north. So we're probably going to go up. Um, and we're probably going to, yeah, we could easily come up here. Let's see what that looks like on a slightly smaller time frame. Okay, scared. Um, here, so this is where, okay, so this is where price went historically, this is where it poked into, this lovely little price nodule, as my dear mentor would always call them, a price nodule, and then we have this here, and then the high of that is right there, so now we go like that, and then we zoom out a little, not so much there, yeah, so you can see, oh, we almost got there. So we got to this area here. Oh man, beautiful entry on that little price module we saw. But there's nothing to do, I'm gonna wait. I prefer the lower prices, we're not quite there yet. We also have a couple of them down here. I really like this one as well, this is lovely. Mm. All right, back again. Sorry for the interruption, it's a madhouse here. Um, and here we have the demand, beautiful area. I mean, this is like, a huge a huge level we have this one here as well which I also like buy zone here black space clarity this is also probably gonna work as well because this just the pattern here this is telling us that like this huge influx of buys so we'll leave it on there I'm just gonna mark this one off like that okay I move this up there and then we'll kind of keep an eye on those this is something we'll come back to maybe the American dollar, Japanese yen. What's going on here? This just wants to go higher. Let's see what we've got on the monthly. Ah, oh, it's so nice being able to go to the monthly chart and the weekly without the software freezing. Oh, this is this is a um, a position trade a turning point right here. Should price come back down to here, which it probably will in I don't know a year, this is probably where we're going to see an influx of. <clears throat> um, long positions uh, into the American dollars and out of Japanese yen but that's ages away maybe when my youngest son's a teenager but here looking at this we can see we have a lovely pattern just there yeah this is lovely we have the buy zone ah 
we had already found it. Okay, so the buy zone is right there, established. Oh man, look at that. It's like found it perfectly. Couldn't have done that better myself. That's beautiful. Nice test. The buy zone was established. So what you want to look for, this is a really good example of what you want to look for. Extremely high probability trades is when price does this, where price comes, it leaves an area, we have an attempt to move into it, but we fail. Okay, and then price moves away, and then we come back, okay? This is a really high odds trade, especially when it looks like this, and especially when it does something like, like this, where we have a high, and that departure moves above the previous high. Okay, this is a really high probability trade, so this is a lovely one. Um, if we go to the four hour chart, we can probably find one more bleeding edge, but no, there's no, there's no demand. Yeah, see, this one kind of already happened. We've got this right there, right there, the demand. That's questionably close. This one is nice. And here, I'm just going to remove this. I'm going to put this. This is the buy. See, this kind of looks like the one we just saw. Okay, where well, you've got the demand right there. It's kind of a big area here. It's an attempt. So this could offer a little support for price, but we're super high. But we need to engage in the market because we need this muscle memory to develop. Stop loss. One, four, six point eight five target here this is a four hour demand for demand We're buying at one four seven point seven four and now we're just going to move this down to here one to one no, nothing greedy we'll manage that like a hawk that's what we got there moving on i'm going to keep going and this is going to be the last one this is the american dollar versus the japanese yen do we get, sorry, the American dollar versus the Canadian dollar. Do we get into this American dollar? No. Okay, so we didn't get into that. I think that we put that in, but we didn't get filled. We, I remember covering this last time, which is a bit of a, a blow, but that's how it goes sometimes. I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but let's go to the weekly and see. And we could easily have a run higher. We go to the daily and have a look at that little structure right there. In the four hour, if we've got data there, please have data there. Okay, so we could, yeah, so we could, we could do this. Delete that one. We could do this here. We also. Okay, um, almost done here, folks. We have this one here. Tested, almost removed. This one went through it. The origin of that move is right there, which pretty much lines up to this one here. Okay, so we'll put a box on here. Keep in mind that this has been tested, so this could also give us a bit of resistance. Okay, but this is closest to price, so we'll take that back to the daily, go like that, and so hopefully, Potentially, so we'll get um, a revisit of this area here, and then we can get pulled into that. And we have a lovely price inefficiency, uh, much lower. Okay, good. Well, I'm going to leave it at that. That was a long video. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope these are, are valuable and interesting. If they are, please let me know in the in the in the video. Sorry, in the Discord chat. If they're not, uh, let me know how I can improve them. Thanks for watching.